Welcome to our Varia Learn to Play video. Varia is a first-person card game set in a fantasy world consisting of countless realms for you to explore. Varia puts you in the shoes of one of several fantasy-themed classes, each with their own unique approach to combat. So pick your class and grab some dice. We're going to learn how to throw down in the original first-person card game. Each Varia class deck comes complete with a deck of 30 action cards, 30 gold worth of items, and any token or stack cards that your class will use. Basically, everything you need to play right out of the box. To get set up, place your shuffled deck of 30 actions and your item cards in front of you. All other cards can be pushed to the side for now. To win a game of Varia, you'll need to reduce your opponent's health points to zero by attacking them with action cards. Varia offers a unique take on CCGs by introducing shared turn structures and randomized values using dice. Each player starts the game with 30 health points, 10 action points, and a hand of 6 action cards drawn from their shuffled 30 card action deck. Actions are the principal ways players interact in Varia, and are unique due to the fact that their values are randomized using a d6-d4 system. At the top right of an action or block is that action's power and focus. Power is listed in a square icon and comes with a d6. Focus is listed in a triangle icon and comes with a d4. The physical attack action Decapitate can be read as having a power of 10 plus 1d6 and a focus of 5 plus 1d4. To start things off, you'll need to figure out which player will be the first active player of the turn. You may do this any way you wish. Rock, paper, scissors, high roll of a d6, whatever you and your opponent agree on. For the first turn of the game, players start with 10 action points and a hand of 6 cards. The start of each additional turn, both players will draw 2 cards from their deck and regain any spent action points. For this video, you'll be the Volcanic Warrior and the first active player. You have a deck full of action cards and 2 weapons ready to be aimed at your opponent's face. What do you do? To effectively play action cards, you must make efficient use of two resources, action points and time. Let's start by learning how Varia uses time as a resource. An action is planned by taking the card from your hand and placing it onto the timeline. The active player goes first and selects what actions they wish to plan. Each action creates a moment on the timeline, and each moment will be resolved in order one after another. The timeline will have a minimum of one moment each turn, with a maximum number of moments determined by the active player's initial plan. Once the number of moments is set, it is locked in for the remainder of the turn. Remember those items we equipped earlier? They aren't just for show. In addition to the actions in your hand, weapon and armor items can be planned onto the timeline in order to perform actions. Once the active player is finished setting up their initial plan, the reactive player gets a chance to respond with a plan of their own. The advantage is that the reactive player knows what their opponent is trying to do. The disadvantage is that they cannot create additional moments and must make use of the moments created by the active player instead. Actions planned to oppose one another will clash when they resolve. We'll cover what that means in a minute. Once the reactive player has finished their plan, the active player gets a chance to alter that plan with fast actions. Fast actions have the keyword fast and also have the lightning bolt symbol in the top right corner of the card. From this point forward in the turn, only fast actions can be planned by either player. A fast action can be planned in one of two ways, as a combo or as a replacement. An action planned as a replacement will take the place of one of your existing actions on the timeline and send the replaced action to the forgotten zone face down. 
An action planned as a combo will fuse with whatever other actions exist in that moment and will be treated as a single card. When combined, Critical Strike and Explosive Charge are treated as a single card with shared cost, power, focus, supertypes, subtypes, rules, and even dice. If a combo is replaced, the entire combo is sent to the Forgotten Zone. Next, the reactive player gets a chance to plan fast actions in response. When they are finished, the active player gets another go. Play continues in this way until both players are satisfied with their plans or are out of fast actions. It's time to head to the second phase of the turn, Timeline Resolution. If you've noticed, neither player has paid any costs for the actions they have planned. This is because in Varia, each moment is resolved one at a time in timeline order, and each action is paid for one moment at a time in timeline order. Each moment is almost like a mini turn with four steps, payment, the start of the moment, the clash, and the end of the moment. First, players will pay for their actions. If a player is unable to pay the cost to perform an action, that action and everything following it on the timeline will go to the queue. These queued actions become what the player will do on their next turn. Once payment is made, opposing actions will clash with one another. The clash is when power and focus dice will be rolled and compared. Attacks are not guaranteed to hit in Varia. When an attack clashes with a block, the attack's total focus, which is its focus value plus a d4 roll, must be equal to or higher than the opposing block's focus, otherwise it will miss. Aimed Edge has a high chance of missing versus a backflip. This is called a focus miss and will result in no damage being dealt or prevented. If we look at Aimed Edge versus a Force Blister, the chance of missing is zero, since a tie on focus will result in a hit for the attacker. If an attack hits, total power for each action is compared. If an attack faces a block, the attacking player will only deal damage to their opponent equal to the difference between their attack's power and their opponent's blocking power. An attack with a total power of 5 against a block with a total power of 4 would result in the attacking player dealing 1 damage to the blocker. But what happens when an attack clashes with an attack? If two attacks clash, there is no risk of either attacks having a focus miss. They will automatically hit each other. The attack with the higher power will deal damage equal to the difference to the other player. An attack with a total power of 3 clashing with an attack that has a total power of 6 will cause the player with the higher power dealing 3 damage. An important note is that while focus isn't compared with attacks, it is still rolled. Many cards in Varia care about focus roll results, like Critical Strike here. Once all moments have been resolved, the turn ends. All actions on the timeline that did not go to the queue are sent to each player's discard piles face up, and any items on the timeline that did not go to the queue return to the item zone, ready to be used again. Finally, the active player becomes the reactive player, and the reactive player becomes the new active player. At this point, the next turn is ready to begin. One final wrinkle that makes Varia's combat dynamic is the use of relative distance. Players can be in two states relative to one another, engaged, or standing next to each other close enough to punch, and disengaged, or standing far enough apart that attacks need to be ranged in order to hit. In Varia, high focus blocks are not the only way to make an attack miss. If you are disengaged from your target, any attacks that do not have the ranged keyword will automatically miss. This is called a distance miss. At the start of each turn, the active player gets to decide if play will start engaged or disengaged. 
As each moment resolves, certain actions can cause players to become engaged or disengaged over time. Mastering this use of distance, both offensively and defensively, will help you on your quest to become a Varia champion. We hope you enjoyed this introduction to Varia. If you are interested in learning more about the game, head over to our website for more information on rules, classes, and formats. Good luck, and may the dice always fall in your favor.